வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே மீண்டும் ஒரு வீடியோவில் சந்திப்பதில் மகிழ்ச்சி இன்னைக்கு கிளாஸ்ல வி ஹவ் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் யூனிட் டூ கிளாசிக்கல் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் தென் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் நான் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் டிகிரி ஆஃப் ஃப்ரீடம் அண்ட் ஹார்னாமிக் அண்ட் சிமிலர் நான் ஹார்னாமிக் அண்ட் செரனாமிக் சிஸ்டம் ஓகே so what are all the learning objective uh, we discuss today means first one we have to understand the conservative or non conservative systems then uh, how to define degree of freedom then what is the difference between harnomic and non harnomic systems then we have to understand then what is mean by a seronomic and dynamic system then some of the examples and implications we have to discuss in this presentation okay so first what is meant by a conservative system so in conservative system which one is conserved means then mechanical energy so what is the example for conservative system one is gravitational another one is a spring force in that conservative system potential energy exist in that conservative system work done is path independent in conservative system how to find out total energy that is kinetic energy plus potential energy is constant then what is mean by a non conservative system energy is not conserved in non conservative system why due to dissipative forces this is all the most important while deriving the uh, d element principle we have to use dissipative forces okay then what is the examples for non conservative system one is friction another one is air resistance here no potential energy function but conservative system that like potential energy can exist here there is no potential energy function here work done depends on path then before cases conservative then path is independent okay here energy loss uh, due to heat and sound so then comparison table about uh, conservative and con non conservative system conservative uh, versus non conservative so this comparison table is most important uh while preparing the examination we have to compare it one slide okay in conservative energy conservation is uh done for conservative that is no energy conservation in non conservative uh, there is no path difference in conservative there is a path dependence there is a path dependence in non conservative what about the potential energy potential energy is exist in conservative while non conservative there is not exist then what all the example gravity is example for conservative then friction is conservative for non conservative so next do we define a degree of freedom most important degree of freedom ellam or question e irukade then most uh, chemistry la we have to study for degree of freedom so what is meant by degree of freedom there should be minimum number of independent coordinates so idhe kepanga so question uh, what is degree of freedom or degree of freedom four option kottu panga minimum maximum constant zero so the most of the students their uh, option is zero so by degree of freedom we have to uh, choose minimum number of independent coordinates so what is the formula for degree of freedom 3n minus c where n is the number of particles in either three dimensional then c is the number of constraint or some books are somewhere c can be replaced by k that it should be a same meaning okay so what are the examples for degree of freedom free particle in three dimension how many of degree of freedom 3 in pendulum degree of freedom is 1 so some of the examples for degree of freedom in double bundle up how many degree of freedom 2 in rigidity body in three dimensional how many degree of freedom 6 degree of freedom rolling disc on plane there should be three degree of freedom so idella pathina then 
we have to apply uh, conservative and then constraint then we have to apply the degree of freedom so number like one word in we have to straight away give the answer okay then we have to remember all the cases for which system how how many of degree of freedom okay the next move on to the polynomial system definitely the topics in the minimum one two two three questions may be asked in the previous year uh, question paper okay so what is meant by holonomic uh, system the constraint can be expressed as a coordinate equation so the it should be integrable constraint so example that pendulum constraint x square plus y square minus s square is equal to zero so it can be expressed as in equation the non holonomic one more it cannot express as a equation it may be a uh, depends upon the velocities and inequalities. So these are all the difference we have to understand uh, for holonomic and non-holonomic. Okay. So what is going to be a non-holonomic system? Here constraint involved uh, for velocities or inequalities. It should be a non-integrable. Then before the case of holonomic should be a integrable. So then what are the examples? Then rolling with it slipping that should be a dx minus or d theta which is equal to zero these are the most important uh, uh, while uh, doing the problems okay so what is the comparison tables for holonomic and non-holonomic so what is the constraint form maybe either coordinate or differential for coordinate for holonomic then differential for non-holonomic what is their integrable it is integrable for holonomic there is no integrable for non-holonomic what are the examples uh, pendulum uh, examples for holonomic then rolling disk is an example for non-holonomic so next is holonomic system constraints are time independent that is the important uh, those topics are repeatedly so this question there should be a two to three times that should be asked in some of uh, TRB or some other examples okay we have to remember in seronomic system then constraints are time independent in rollnomic it should be a time dependent so upcoming comparison uh, we have to clearly understand those topics okay so what is the form then f of q1 q2 up to q1 which is equal to 0 so what is the example in this case is then pendulum with fixed support so rollnomic system uh, from the previous cases it should be a uh, independent on time here constraints are depend on time that should be a uh, from the previous cases it should be a uh, independent here in this cases it should be a time should be involved then f equal to q1 q2 q1 then we have to include time which is equal to zero then what are the examples from previous cases pendulum is a fixed rate. in this cases that pendulum is moving support so some of the relationship about holonomic and seronomic then there is a possible combinations holonomic and seronomic then holonomic and rheonomic and holonomic system may be a time dependent so finally we come to the summary of the whole uh, presentation of the slide then conservative means then energy conserved then path is independent the non-conservative energy dissipated and path dependent then degree of freedom is independent of coordinates then holonomic is a integrable constraint so these are all the over conclusion uh, today presentation okay this is all the summary point uh, we have to remember uh, keep on learning then then seronomic is a time independent then another one is a time dependent okay so if you have any questions or discussion regarding this presentation you have to ask your question in the comment section and also meanwhile you have to ask your question and discussion uh, in uh, either whatsapp and telegram all the link will be given in the description then meanwhile uh, we have to download the dpn academy from the google play store the link also will be given in the description okay uh, then meanwhile we have to conduct all the 
uh, PGTRB, uh, especially for regular classes. Then meanwhile, we have to conduct test batches and answer key batches. And there should be a two answer key batches. One is answer key batches. Then already uh, the students joined and the batch is running. Then another batch is MCQ 110. Okay, there should be a two answer key batches. Then upcoming going. Then uh, then test batches is available for online and offline. Okay. Then nearly all study material and all question banks are available. Meanwhile, we have to conduct free uh, education psychologies, GK and general Tamil. General Tamil. Okay. Uh, only we have to pay for uh, admission fees only three hundred. Okay. I already. Uh, given the instruction in whatsapp and telegram okay if you have any queries regarding this we have to comment or otherwise we have to contact through whatsapp or telegram okay so if you have any questions then please comment or we have to contact either whatsapp or uh, telegram for any questions or clarifications so thank you uh, don't forget like this video and subscribe our channel okay we meet in the next class